Hi guys, so I want to do um, a quick review of a couple of things that I've uh, done. I was looking for some kind of, well, what started out as looking for a boost gauge for my uh, diesel Navara, then sort of led me to looking at um, OBD driven gauges, and then from that I found out about um, a bit of software called Dash Command. So uh, then I ordered from Amazon um, an OBD uh, connector, which is a, a Wi-Fi one. If you're running Android, you can order the Bluetooth one, but if you're running Android, uh, iOS, Apple, iPhone, iPad, whatever, you need to order the Wi-Fi one. Um, that's because the protocol that it needs won't work over Bluetooth, it'll only work over Wi-Fi. But anyway, I digress. So, uh, order that. That's, I think I paid 15 quid, including the postage for that. And Dash Command is 34.99. Um, it's a much better solution in my book. You know, I mean, I could have ordered, you know, a normal diagnostic device or whatever, but with this you get everything. So, I'll just talk you through the basics. Um, this is an iPod. I'm going to put a bit of light on this, see if that's better. Um, this is an iPad, obviously. It's an iPad 4 or whatever. And that there is how I collect on the internet at home, 3G modem. Uh, I don't have a landline, don't need one. I get 12 megabit to 20 megabit downstream, so over 3G. So uh, why pay BT for a... a, a a three or four megabit connection. Anyway, right, so you connect to that, CLK devices, and then that connects, and then you go into dash command, which I've already got open, and wait a minute for it to open its connection. And then there's a number of basic options. Um, I've only really just installed it. Um, and I've made a very basic kind of stand, but you can go into dashboards. I'm not sure it's actually better with these lights on at all. Better without the lights on. So you go into a dashboard and it shows you everything there, your RPM. Um, you can tap on these gauges and it will scroll through that scroll through the timing, acceleration, etc. etc. You've got power, temperature on your intake, uh, torque or coolant temperature, uh, boost vacuum. And then you've got obviously all these other gauges, fuel economy, etc. etc. It tells you fuel flow. I haven't actually properly set this up yet. You put in your horsepower and your engine size and it somehow calculates it properly. And then you've got all these other gauges here, math and intake and coolant temperature, etc. etc. Um, yeah, shift. I haven't I haven't done that yet. I will do that. And then uh Again, fill up procedure. So that's that. So press and hold, get back to the main menu. Um, and then you can go to things like, uh, well, let's say diagnostics and read codes. No, it will read your fault codes if you need to. You can clear your fault codes. It's clearing fault codes. That's it. Yeah, well, that's I don't know why that is. <clears throat> There's a couple of mods on this vehicle, so certain things will show up as not being quite right. Uh, racetrack. I'm not sure what that's about. Uh, 
skid pad. Uh, car cleats, G's. Um, and obviously that's, uh, you know, you know what I'm saying. So it's a pretty good, um, it's a pretty good app. Uh, I'm not entirely sure it is worth 34.99. I think, um, I think it could be a little bit cheaper. If it was 24.99, I'm sure a lot more people would buy it. Um, when it comes down to it, it's actually a very basic product, but it does. It is quite nice to have it on your iPad. And then once you've got it on your iPad. And if you mount your iPad in your car, you know, you've got not just, um, you know, diagnostics, but you can you can do it, you can use your iPad as a sat-nav. So it's quite nice to have all these other, you know, all these functions in one device. It's very nice. So there you go. That's, that's my, um, you know, quick little review of uh, Dash Command. Good bit of software, perhaps about a ten or two dear. Um, for what it offers, um, but on the other hand, there isn't anything else as good. There's a couple of other apps on the App Store um, that are a lot cheaper, but um, there's some mixed reviews about them. So make your own mind up about that. But anyway, that's uh, that's it. Dash Command. Um, uh, yeah, it is a jailbroken iPad, but it doesn't make any difference. Won't make any difference to you whether yours is jailbroken or not. All right. Thanks very much. Cheers. Bye. Oh, before I go, let's just, uh, I'll show you this product. Right, so this is the product. Yeah, this is the one you want to buy. When you get onto um, Amazon, just check it out. Make sure this is the one you buy. I'll put a link to the one I bought. Um, in the video, and um, so you can order that, and I'll put a link to the software as well. And if you if you're going to order it for Android, like I say, you can just order the Bluetooth one, which is about seven quid. All right, cheers, guys.